overall results, right? So on rotation change. So on average, he's about two degrees closed at impact. So how much your trip, trip, how much your putter swings open and closed. So if it's um, so he's missing to the left. What's that? So that would yeah, be and the, that's why when right. we did the original video and he looked like his putter was right, he probably it all started with alignment, right. and then he redirected it by shutting the face up consciously. Got it. Yeah. So uh, he ta he was taking it back to that putt about ten and a half inches, which that was only about six feet, and that's a super fast putt. So what I think I'm curious to see is like his ratio, tempo ratio, because right. he. If he's taking it back that far, he has to be decelerating or going really slow right. pacing, which isn't going to be effective. To, um, he's probably used to putting on slow pitch. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so this is your backstroke rotation. So if we take the average, just to make it easy, but we, you could go through individual putts, but uh, 10 and a half, then the, the backswing rotation should be half of that. Right. So 10 and a half would be um, 5.2 or 5.3. So he's opening it two degrees too much on average. It's based on it or compared to his average. Uh, opening it? Opening it too much. It's swinging on average seven degrees open where since his length was 10 and a half, <laughs> or let's just call it 10 and seven. So if his, so if his putter is traveling 10 inches back, the way the putter is built, it should open five degrees, Got it. half of the length. Yeah, yeah. Put that open almost eight, right. right? So then his forward rotation should also be like, you know, the same to kind of match up because it's swinging back into the impact, his right. forward. So if it swings five open, it should swing five close, right. go down the line. Um, or it's swinging seven, eight open, and then it's closing nine and a half. Half. So yeah, it's so a 1.8 yeah. left. Where on a 10 footer, if you're within one degree rotation change, it's probably going to go in if you chose the right line. Right. But it's going to catch one of the edges with perfect speed and perfect line. But uh, like, no, you're not perfect all the time. Like putters or tour players aren't. But you can see sometimes it closed 13 and a half degrees, but then sometimes it only as consistency wasn't really there, right? So then if we look at his tempo and timing, which Blast believes like that's where you got to start because if you don't have the <laughs> tempo, your rotation is going to be different, which I agree with. You got to get your setup good and then maybe your tempo. Um, so if we look at that, uh, and so we look through them individually, let's look at that putt. So you took that nine inches backstroke length right there, right on the left. There's only six degrees uh, closed rotation change so two to one ratio is like their baseline circles which this is opposite of what he has been on the nine other putts you don't want that passive a backstroke time you want around 0.6 okay. a baseline number now if you do 0.75 but you're making everything then I'm not gonna, as long as you repeat it and you're consistent but you range from 0.39 to 0.61 which isn't very consistent, right? Right. So that's the pacing of how your back swing. So one time you're like that, and one time you're like that. Right. The point six one is a good number. So overall, it's just too fast. Right. On the back swing, but on the down swing, it should be about point three. So it's two to one. Point six, point three. Right. So he's point five to point three six. So his ratio is a very, he's decelerating, like I said. It's right. slower coming down because he's so fast and long going right. back. Does that make sense? Yep. And that's why this is a good training aid because it's an affordable one and it's tempo. And that yeah. fixes, without getting technical, I mean, it, it seems really technical when you're uh, practicing to get your like confused on how fast is that, but it's, it's tempo. So yeah. it's not like a swing position. Um, so then the impact stroke speed, which I think is important, that's when coming into hitting the ball, how fast is your putter, putter traveling? So it's like full swing speed, right? Yeah. So one time he was 2.5, one time he was 3.8. Got it. So that's not very consistent. I would say, well, did you notice the balls 
Were they going too long at times? Yes. Yeah, so three, if I have a 10 footer on like a green here, it's about 3.6 is my impact speed okay. for good speed. So I'd say here, this is probably pretty good for a six footer yeah. on a pretty fast carpet, but it's not consistent again. So yeah. here's your numbers on the side, right? So <laughs> we can look at your rotation change is 1.3 closed. So at impact, it's a degree closed. So you're on average, you're just rotating it really a lot on the backswing. And I think it's because your hands get too low. Because full swing, we want it like this, right? Putting, you want to get your hands higher to stabilize uh, the face yeah. rotation. You can even see the, his club is laying down more on the heel. Well, yeah, so, so that that's where I think his putter is, but his hands are really low, where his putter should lie flat. If it's fixed it correctly for him, it should be flat. So, yeah, so the, and this is why you want the rotation to be two to one. It's because uh, I don't know what your lie angle is, but mostly around 71 degrees for standard lie for putters. So the angle the putter comes out, it doesn't come out straight up, right? Right. So when you get your hands low, that's right, exactly. and that's why putter fitting is pretty important too. Right. So um, you just a fit. good like checkpoint for you would to be, you know, is my putter lying flat? So like, because right. I have the same, most people do because you're full swing, you're like down here, but that's rotation. Right. and hinge and speed but if I set up to it I put the putter down flat and then I put my hands on to make sure my hands because right. I've been fitted for my putter so I know and I got it bent too much upright so yeah. that it forced me to get my hands higher so I wouldn't rotate too much right and I think this is upright enough it look it doesn't look too flat yeah. so yeah you want it sitting there so your hands should be a little higher yeah um, but I think this putter is probably fit so that was pretty good, right? And then my rotation change was, yeah. yeah so then, but see, I have sticks down. I'm making sure, yeah. like, my hand. Look, look at my shaft angle in my yeah. hands compared to yours, right? See, trip. Yours are way. So yours are. Whoops. Yeah. You get the point, though. Yeah. Right there. Mine's a little higher, right? Yep. And mine still aren't perfect either. But that's going to stabilize our rotation because he has, you know, so much, too much backstroke rotation. Right. All right. You know what to do. So uh, if we if we put the ball there at zero, right? On this putt, you should probably be right around there, six or seven. And then it. So if you want to think about that. So that was a good back row time, right? That 0 0.6, 0 0.3 number is for every length like, putt. So as guys get longer, their pacing goes quicker. It's a combination to get the distance to go further. 